I Duck. found some wood frog egg masses. Awesome. Uh, 137? Is that right? 137. Sounds close enough. So there's about 137 egg masses here. And the interesting thing about the way wood frogs lay egg masses is that they do this thing called communal oviposition. Oviposition means the location of the eggs. Communal means they put them all together. And the reason they do that is they're laying their eggs in the places in the pond that get the most warmth, the most sunshine, the most heat, because there's a relationship between temperature and developmental rate. The warmer the temperature, the faster they develop. And also, um, these egg masses in clusters together the individual eggs with their outer um, membranes act like small lenses. The sunlight hits them, it directs that light and heat inward and warms um, the individual eggs inside the egg masses. So it's better to be in a cluster than individual. Okay, let's see if I can... What side of the pond are we on? Um, we are on the north west side of the pond. Right. Why, we... why is that? Why, why do you think it's in the northwest side of the pond? Because the uh, southeast, the sun is in the... <laughs> can you explain it better than I can? Right, this is the warmest side of the pond, bottom line. Well, yeah, I could have said that. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to think about yeah. what the sun's doing, but anyway. And there's 117, not 137. I did my math wrong. That's what you did his math wrong. Okay. Also here, Dr. Payton just told me that the spotted salamanders hadn't laid their eggs yet. I was skeptical, and indeed I see one. But first, <coughs> let's look at the wood frog egg mat. Okay, so I'm gonna untie these wood frog egg masses are each attached to an individual branch, and many of them are at the surface because that's where they're they're going to get a lot of warmth. But the risk of being at the surface is that if it freezes again, those eggs at the surface are gonna freeze. So they're hedging their bets. Closer to the surface, it can potentially get warmer, but there's an increased risk of freezing. So let me get one of these egg masses. I don't recommend you do this at home. Don't atta unattach egg masses, but there's a place here I can put this again closer to the surface. Never do this at home. Never do this. <laughs> Well, you probably can't do it at home because there's not egg masses in your home. But here's a wood frog egg mass. And when you first start to look at these, so this is about the size of a softball almost at this point. When they first lay their eggs, it's almost too big for my hand. I'm not the best model for this. When they first lay their egg masses, attach them on the stick, they're about this large. So the female starts to lay the egg mass. She's hanging on to the stick. The male is hanging on to her. The male is basically like a small backpack. He doesn't do much. The female does everything, essentially. She's releasing the egg. She's releasing the sperm as he's in emphasis on top of her back. When, he released, when she releases the egg, the egg mass, it's about this big. And over the period of about three to seven days, depending on temperature, that egg mass takes on water 
until it gets to about this size. Um, and sometimes larger, depending on how many eggs there are in a mass. Um, that um, absorption of water does a number of things. It helps provide cushioning for the individual embryos inside. It um, makes that individual egg larger, so maybe even larger than the gape width of a primary predator, the red spotted newt. Um, and it also increases the capacity of those eggs to act as little lenses and transfer that heat inward. So Dr. Payton, how many eggs do you think is inside a wood frog egg mass? I'm gonna guess 750 to 1,000. 750 to 1,000, he says brightly. Well, he, he's in the range. It all depends on um, where you are within the range of the wood frog. Um, here, this one here probably is about 300, I guess, just based on its size. They can get up to 1,000. I did PhD research on wood frog egg masses and found them ranging every, everywhere from 250 to 1,000. But again, okay. it depends on where you are. And also, a female could have laid this as a partial egg mass and may have laid a smaller egg mass elsewhere. I think this is on the smaller size. Okay, I'm going to put this back. Dr. Payton, how long does it take for these eggs, these embryos to develop? Depends on the water temperature. Ooh, why? I don't know the term. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just that thing that we've talked about with our students before that in a lot of species, especially in ectotherms, there's a relationship between warmer temperatures and faster development. So I'm going to put this one back. So this. what's the answer? How many days would you expect for um, them to hatch? So again, it depends on temperature. These can take anywhere from three weeks to a month to two months. If, we, if it gets really, really cold again, which is supposed to do tomorrow, that's going to slow down development. If we started to get days in the in the 60 degree Fahrenheit range, um, around the, what is that, 20, 20 degree uh, Celsius range, um, we would start, these would really start to develop quickly. But what I can see in these eggs, these have probably been here based on their development right now. They're, they're not quite perfectly round spheres. These are probably, five days old or so, I guess. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this back without falling in. I'm gonna put it up on this uh, piece of wood so it's very close to the surface. The last thing you wanna do is pull out a bunch of wood frog egg masses and then throw them back so they settle on the bottom because they will certainly, the embryos will certainly die. They'll never develop quickly enough and it's too cold. Now, Dr. Payton, I see that there's a spotted salamander egg mass right down there. I don't and know if I can get a picture of it, I'll, unfortunately. I'll, I'll get it. Okay. Yeah. Um, and interestingly, I see what looks like a caddis fly moving around on the surface of it. What do you think the caddis fly is doing? Caddis flies are potentially a predator of, of the eggs of, a, of both wood frogs and spotted salamanders, is my guess. That is the absolute truth. A plus, Dr. Payton. Yay. That is a... I finally did something right. <laughs> finally. That is a caddis fly larva. And those of you who took wetland ecology, the smart ones who took wetland ecology, will remember that caddis fly larvae, most species, make a little house for themselves, either out of sand or leaves or sticks. And this caddis fly larva has built... Um, a case out of it looks like pieces of bark or sticks and I see it working around on the surface and what what it's trying to do caddis fly larvae are important predators of both spotted salamander and wood frog embryos as Dr. Payton mentioned and it is trying to break through the outer jelly layer and get inside to start eating those embryos bad caddis fly larva so let me see what I can do without uh oh, <laughs> falling in. Uh oh. Hang on, 
stop filming for one second.